It's 12.06 a.m. on January 7th. I've been working on knots for the last eight hours. It's not healthy. Um, whoa. We are looking at an old knot that I made. I call this number 22. It's a counterclockwise version. Counterclockwise version. Um, it has cousins. You can see that here's a similar one. This loop has moved from here into here. And you can see that the loop's gone. It's a loop in a loop. There's a similar one to this. Here it is here. You know, the loop that was here is just tracked up. It's gone from here to here to here. Uh, these all have at their core a three foil knot, overhand knot, and three loops. Now, what I did was I put my little, my little knot right here, and I worked out that this loop can go here, 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 or here. And I did my basic knot notation that I invented. This is not standard knot notation. It's just the white cell is over, the black cells are unders. And I just theoretically worked out the frame shift of how this loop, of how this loop jumps these positions. And I just did a frame shift of the over under, over under, over under, over under. You can just see it jumps by one space. I then, um, just by looking at it, worked out the Conway knot notation. Then I built a bunch of the paper models. For example, this one here is this one right here. You can see it's got three loops on the outside, three loops on the outside. And then I went, well, hey, I've made this theoretical knot notation for what I call 20B, where the loop would be uh, right here. And I wanted to see, well, can I make that paper model? This is what, this is what it looks like, actually. You can see the loop has ended up right here. And in my knot diagram, it would have been right there. I, I, I built it and I turned it inside out. If you turn it inside out, you can flip this part, the trefoil knot in here, and you can flip this part out here. It'll just twist on itself. So here's it as it is in the paper form, but here it is flipped inside out. And you can see the colors change. So when you flip it inside out, the black surface will go inside to here, and you'll see Here's the black surface on the outside, the white on the inside. But when we turn it inside out, the white surface is on the outside. So this is backwards. And, and bearing in mind that these are clockwise knots, my original knot that I built is it's counterclockwise. Unfortunately, I don't know the colors or the boundaries because I don't have that paper model no more. I don't have a photograph of it. But... I wrote down the Conway notation, and lo and behold, when you take the clockwise version and when you turn it inside out, when you write down the Conway notation and compare that to the counterclockwise version, they equal. So the clockwise knot, when it's turned inside out, its knot notation will equal the counterclockwise knot. However, I don't know the colors of this boundary here and here. I know this is a one, like two-dimensional, and I'm talking about a three-dimensional frame knot. But I suspect there's four versions of this. There's the left-handed version, the right-handed version, and there's also the knots where the surface is switched. So where it's black here, it'll be white here. So there's probably four of those, and that's what I'm going to look at next. Um, I find this interesting. Nobody else does. Um, but bearing in mind, we started with a Mobius strip, and we ended up at um, Conway knot notation, and that's kind of interesting.